So this is the phone that I've been using for the past three years. According to a report by eMarketer, the average person uses their phone for three hours and 15 minutes every single day. This freaked me out when I read it. Three hours? You could fly to the Netherlands in three hours. I remember checking my phone once and to my disgust, I had used Instagram that day for five hours. With five hours, I could get to the Canary Islands. Most of it was mindless scrolling and I just remember feeling really depressed. I knew in that moment that my complete lack of self-discipline meant that I needed to get rid of my phone. I think there was a really sweet spot we hit with technology maybe 15 years ago where it was doing what it was supposed to do, making our lives easier not serving as this shiny distraction tool. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through the steps that you might need to take if you want to make this switch yourself. You take out your normal SIM from your normal phone and you switch it into your caveman phone. And that's the end of the video. I'm kidding, there's a few other things you might wanna do. First thing, make sure you still have access to the internet, i.e. have a good laptop that works well. I don't have to tell you that the internet is useful. We both know it's the modern day oxygen. It's just that with a smartphone, I feel like the internet is way too accessible. Like the fact that you can be on Instagram, on the toilet, and that many people do, personally to me, I feel like it's a bit of an issue. My phone itself is a Nokia 2720. I bought it secondhand and you can find it on eBay. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is buy a camera. So although you can get some rad hippie shots on this camera, it's pretty useless. And if you thought the storage on your iPhone 11 was bad, um, think again, there's like nothing on here. I had two requirements for my camera. It had to be small and durable. Small enough to fit in my pocket, just like a phone would, and durable enough to withstand the number of times I was gonna inevitably drop it. I feel like one of the main selling points of phones these days is the camera. So it's a good idea to have a camera if you're gonna make this switch. The GoPro is a perfect camera if you're looking to substitute it for a phone. They're tiny and they're made to withstand a lot more than us dropping it down the stairs. Next, buy an MP3 player. So as I said, the storage on this thing is subpar. So if you like listening to audiobooks and podcasts, then you're gonna want to buy an MP3 player. I personally love my morning walks with Sheikh Omar Suleiman, hashtag Ramadan 30 for 30 going strong. And finally, last but not least, I've left the most important, most life-changing and most impactful old piece of tech till the very end. I'm kidding, but honestly, I hope that video was useful. Um, if you like the content here, please subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.